<laughs> I just try to watch it as hard as I can. And I tend to see the ball hit the ball, and it worked today. Uh, Colin, um, you, it was 60 or 47 balls, I think. Um, would you say that was one of your better innings in ODI cricket? Oh, definitely, because I haven't scored that many 50s, but yeah, it was. And to get it, get through the line, like Kane got us over the line, so it made it even better. I suppose we had to take it to the last 10 overs, so we had to build for 10 overs and then see where we're at. And oh, Luckily the run rate didn't get above 7, so we we're always still in the game. You were brilliant with the ball, so what were your plans? Surely it's not as simple as just see the ball and hit the ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. It wasn't that easy, but today it came off. I did just watch it. It didn't trick it simple, but it's playing by mind problems. <laughs> did, you, did you target Petra White specifically, given his uh, blesser pace compared to the rest of the tank? Yeah, we knew he still had a few overs in the tank. But he's done the job for them before, so he's still going to be tough. You've played here before for Birmingham Bears, and uh, does that, I mean, the conditions might not be similar, but does that experience come in handy? Or oh. does that matter? No, it doesn't really matter what ground you have. The wicket's normally very good. And this was a different wicket. Yeah, it was different today, and they put a good score on the board, and luckily we scraped over the line. Is it Gil's uh, advice to just have positive uh, ideas in the chat with you? No, he didn't give me too much advice. <laughs> Don't take too much in, so. I mean, as you got it, the club just from one end was scary to the bunch into. Did that, no, how did you find that out? Did that come out? When you're out there, you don't really, you hear when you're not facing, but when you're facing, you don't really hear that white noise. Does it feel like a knockout game? I mean, obviously, the other side sort of is, but from your side? Oh, definitely. If you don't win as many games early as you can, then you're under pressure to win. How much of a help is it to have a quick batsman like Adam Mitchell in the side that can control the game? Yeah, having him at the other end makes it a lot easier for us knowing who, who the gaps are. But, um, when you're sitting in the jersey like this and you've got people like you and Jeremy Cavill to turn the ball, how difficult is it to go out and go out with the same mindset of I'm just going to... Yeah, you, know, you try not to think about how someone else is batting and just focus on what you're doing. It didn't open up this area because we knew it was going to be hard against their slower balls and because the wickets were folding fast. Um, with the last one, you went through, got through some tough games already in, in the early stages of the tournament. How much relief does that give you for the rest of the tournament, considering that maybe you weren't considered one of the favourites at the start? Obviously, it's not too bad being underdogs, but to win the first few is crucial, especially in this the setup that the World Cup is this year. And do, with do you reckon it's the most satisfying? Uh, probably just trying to do my job when I can and some, obviously some days it doesn't work but today it did. Thanks, Thanks very much.